Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Rumble. I am Game Roy, and we're going to start this video off with Windy Prairie. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I'd inform you if that Pokemon was indeed shiny or not. And it indeed is. Um, but the thing is, uh, and I looked up stuff, some of the stuff online, seeing if this is the same chance as it is in Pokemon games, you know, the 1 to 8,192 chance, which it is. It's just a lot easier to find shiny Pokemon in this game than it is uh, the regular Pokemon games. Uh, so yeah, I don't feel much, I don't know, accomplishment in finding one in this game as I would in actual Pokemon games. Just because, I don't know, Pokemon games you're just like, oh cool, I found a shiny Pokemon, except that wouldn't be your actual reaction, you'd probably be freaking out more. And they're making me flinch way too much, and they killed me. That was a really cheap death. I'm sorry, but it was. <sighs> I hate cheap deaths in this game a lot. Anyways, but yeah, I don't feel too much accomplishment, but it is kind of cool to have a shiny. I was also reading some other stuff online, people saying like, Oh, you found a shiny? Well, that's cool, I guess. I found like 10. So, yeah, it makes sense. So. And something I guess I should mention about shiny Pokemon is that shiny Pokemon don't do anything to the Pokemon stats at all. It's just that they're well, shiny. <laughs> they they have a different color, basically. And also another thing about that shiny Pokemon that we got, if you could, could or could not tell, uh, that Pokemon was this basically its colors inverted of the regular Pokemon. So it wasn't one of the coolest looking shinies. I mean, there's some pretty cool looking shinies out there. For example, uh, Rayquaza. Look him up. That's, he's pretty cool shiny form. Uh, Charizard, or really just all the generation one starters in general <laughs> shiny um let me think here who else uh, there's a bunch really I mean I mean I remember one day at school uh, me and some friends last year like all we did that day was we had a well we guess we it was after school actually but uh we just looked up all of these different kinds of shiny Pokemon and we found some pretty cool looking ones some of them are just stupid but some of them are pretty cool though And this Pokemon is running away from us. This is actually a, uh, uh, what is that? I, I missed it. I forgot what it's called, but it's, it's just a normal type. Nothing too special about it, so. Actually, I use this, uh, th this Pokemon that we're seeing right here in my Pearl th playthrough the first time around. Um, so that's pretty cool. They're pretty good Pokemon, too, for. Uh, one of the first Pokemon, or one of the first flying Pokemon you find in the game. So, if you're playing Pearl or Diamond, I recommend you pick one up, because it is a good Pokemon. And there's also a Drift Loon, I think, that's what it's called. And about to die here. Drift, Blo Drift Bloom, I think, is what it said. I'm not sure. But. Um, yeah, I've always wanted to use that Pokemon too. It's a flying ghost type, which is pretty cool, but never got around to using it, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to switch to this Luxio, because I do not want to lose another life and have one life for the boss, which should be coming up for, no, next four probably. <laughs> I thought it was coming up right now, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Alright. So we have some pretty normal types in this area, mainly just normal types and uh, uh, flying types. But I mean, the flying types are mainly normal and flying. Interesting fact about uh, flying type Pokemon, there's only one pure flying type Pokemon, and that being a generation 5 Pokemon that I cannot remember his name, but he's a legendary. And one of the legendaries that like uh, move around, like Entei, stuff like that. Uh, and the three from Diamond and Pearl, and that's all I can think of. I think that's it. And here's the boss up here. This is actually the final evolution of Starly. Also, a cool Pokemon. Even <laughs> yeah, only Starly is a cool Pokemon. The evolutions, nah. Don't worry about it. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, it's a good. All the evolutions are good Pokemon. It is Predator Pokemon Star Raptor. Cool Pokemon indeed. And 
and wow, it did a lot of damage on me. I think I have a lot of health, I guess. Or I assume, anyways. Since I, when I was 115, I didn't die. So. Oh, and it killed me. And wow, it hit me pretty hard that time. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. This is our best shot right here, I guess. I mean, he's almost done, so. Shouldn't be too hard in. Wow! And there we go. There goes our raptor. I think it's. Well, it sounds kind of weird, but I do like its death sound. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I like how it sounds. It sounds cool. And that's Windy Prairie. Uh, I guess we'll go to. Hmm. I'm actually thinking about going to Rocky Cave next. Kind of unusual, right after Windy Prairie. But that's something about doing. I kind of want to try to teach us Golduck some new moves, just because it's our most powerful right now, and it does not have good moves at all. Or water type moves at all, at least. And no. No. And I have a good amount of chances to do that, so I see why not. I don't see why not. Uh, Brick Break's pretty good. I'll replace that for Scratch. Hypnosis. Uh, that actually may be pretty useful, so. Uh, whoops, I did not mean to go back there. Okay, so let's go to. Okay, that's Brick Break. Rocky Cave! Which I think Brick Break should be okay on. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully it will do good. And here's some more Kaferis. I'm pretty sure we've seen some of these before. And here's actually some pr uh, pretty interesting Pokemon too. I can't, uh, I can't read its name. As I said before, <laughs> I'm at an angle with my TV, so it's kind of hard to read na the names. And just looking at my computer is kind of distracting to read it. So, but it's an interesting type. Uh, I know it starts with the G, but it's a Dragon Ground type, which is pretty cool. It does evolve into decent Pokemon. The champion is not not uh not gonna, I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to spoil that much, but I mean I am spoiling it, but it is one of the champions uh final Pokemon. Uh it's evolution his final evolution anyways. Gibble, that's his name. It's kinda easier to see when you ever catch it, so And Golduck is not doing too well. If I start using hypnosis, that would work out. Yeah, it seems to be working out. Got some more gold bats here. Oh, this interesting Pokemon is here. That's Snover. Also a very interesting type. A grass ice type. Um, I think that was also a Pokemon I wanted to use just because I thought it looked cool and also because it's such an interesting type and I'm moving really slow. Um, but yeah, I never really got to use them. But still, it'd probably be decent Pokemon. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try to use uh, this Magnemite again. I've actually tried to use this Magnemite a lot. Just because of a Steel Bomb, I think. That might be effective against ground rock type stuff like that. I know it's effective against flying types. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. At least decent damage, anyways. At least it seems seems to be doing that, anyways. Oh, run away! And plus, this magnet bomb is pretty cool. Might actually, I don't know. I can't really tell how the patterns of it go. I'm kind of wondering if it locks on. Actually, it looks like it does. Yeah, it does. That's really cool, actually. Pretty useful, actually. That's awesome. Because <laughs> I noticed that its pattern has been different every time, so... That's cool. There's a mighty Zubat. I might have said gold bats before, so... Well, actually, there are gold bats here, so that. I guess we saw zoo bats earlier, it's all. And we do not want to use an electro type move on those guys, so. Oh, 
It's because, uh... How was it? Electric... Electric types moves aren't super effective against grass type moves, or uh, grass type Pokemon. Which I still don't understand that much, seeing that in real life. Uh, oh, we have high Pokemon level for the Battle Royale now. That's cool. Um, but yeah, just seeing how, uh, if you were to have electricity on a plant in real life, it would most likely, uh, burn. Um, something I still don't get, but whatever. It might have only a certain range too of what how far it can go. The magnet bomb that is. So it probably can't home too far anyways. But still, pretty cool move. Um also something I guess I should mention about I uh dragon types is that they're only weak against two things, and one of its weaknesses is still kind of odd to me. It is, uh, one of their weaknesses is actually their own type, which is Dragon. Just, I'm pretty sure that's the only type for Pokemon that can do that, have that. So, pretty interesting, and the other type that's, uh, I can beat uh, its weak against is, uh, Ice. Which makes sense, I guess, and they had to kind of throw another one in there just so it would have one weakness, but, yeah. Dragon types are pretty cool though, I mean, I... Actually, have I used one before? I don't know, I don't know if I've used one before, but I know for certain I've used dragon type move before. It's pretty good for the most part, and that's uh, Grass Guard Snover, that's kind of cool. Um, actually, come to think of it, I probably used Palkia before, so... And I'm pretty sure that's a dragon type. Dragon water type, I believe? I don't know, it's been a long time since I played Pearl. And I really want to replay it, but I want to beat Leaf Green first. And here we have the evolution of Snover. It's only in final. Well, yeah, it's final. Only final evolution. It's Frost Street Pokemon, Abomina Snow. We had a Fire type for this fight. Man, this would be easy. But I'm not even sure if there's any fire. Pokemon in this area, and he kind of saved me there. <laughs> I'm not sure if Magnemite's going to be able to pull this off. And whoa, its move is pretty effective. I don't know, it just shoots multiple. I don't really like some bosses like that. Are I mean they have they're difficult, which is good, but. It's just really annoying sometimes how, like, they, basically the move just follows you around. It's just annoying. Like that. Yeah, it's annoying like that. Um, this may be choose <laughs> tough one to choose. Uh, let's see here. Do we have anything? Mm hmm. Actually, I come to think of it, we have a lot of uh, flying types. I'm pretty. That's actually pretty stupid of me to, or, or not, just dumb of me for, to forget that. So yeah, let's use one of them. And I think I saw something weird for a second there, and automatically dead. Um, I can't tell now. I'll have to check later. Uh, is there any other flying types? <laughs> pretty much our only chance. There we go. He's down. Did not get him. But that's okay. I'm actually trying to hurry up this episode because I have to go leave to do something and it's about the time I have to leave. So <laughs> I just want to check one thing real quick before I end this episode off. Most powerful Pokemon right there. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty high level move. And let me check something. Yeah, yeah. Different. I already mentioned that. Just have to watch the gate open. 
and it opened. Cool. <laughs> didn't get jammed. Nah. Actually, it did get jammed one time, did it? Didn't it? Um. Now to check what I was trying to check earlier. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I was a false alarm. I thought I found another shiny, but <laughs> that was just a false alarm. Actually, do you want to see something about? Where is he? Um, let's see. Is it this one? Yes! Okay. Okay, I was just saying if it looked like its name was different at all for the shiny one. Anyways, that's all it's going to be for this part. I have to go. So, I will see you next time, and thank you for watching.